So check this thing out. So this is the FBX drill from Kenna Metal, but I like to call it the freaking brutal executioner. Where a normal drill only has two flutes and maybe two cutting edges, this thing takes eight inserts plus a center insert and has four flutes. So you're gonna be drilling at twice the feed you normally would. In addition to this being an amazing cutting tool, we're adding in the flexibility of Kenna Metal's BTF46 adapter system. What this adapter system allows you to do is to use several different styles of spindle connection types. So we can use this same drill on an HSK100 spindle connection or a Cat50 spindle connection. You just gotta buy the different adapter. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this drill and we're gonna put our center insert in. All right, so now that we have our center insert in, we're gonna go ahead and throw our tool onto our adapter. Now one thing about this drill is that because we have the two extra flutes on it, it's gonna take an additional amount of torque. So these tools are specifically made for machines that have the torque to push them. So you may have seen the video that we did with the Godzilla drill. The cool thing about this tool is while the Godzilla drill only had two cutting edges in a center insert, this one actually has eight cutting edges plus a center insert. Now, because we have so much more surface area in cut, this tool is gonna to require a lot more torque to push. In addition to drilling holes, this tool is also great for plunge milling. For monster machines, you need monster drills, and that's exactly what this thing is. So if that other drill was the Godzilla drill, then this drill is the Kraken, and the Abarmia is Olympus. This is one of the sickest drills I've ever seen. Where these things really excel at is if you have a huge pocket in titanium, you go in with one of these and clean out as much as you can, and then you come back in with your end mill and clean out the rest. So you notice on both ends of this part, we have a hole that's nine inches deep, and we're using this drill that only has a six inch max depth of cut. The reason that we're able to get away with that is because we have this big counter bore on both sides. So we're gonna come in and drill three inches deep, then we're gonna come in with our end mill and machine out the counter bore, then we're gonna come back in with this drill and we're gonna shove the whole tool holder and everything into the counter bore to get that full nine inch depth. Because we're feeding a little slow, the sound isn't gonna be ideal. Now this is a tool that likes to be fed fast and hard, but so that you guys can see what's actually happening, we have to run it without coolant. So I have to run the feed a little bit slower than we normally would. So a lot of people have been asking what it is that we're making here. So this is a rocket valve that we made out of Inconel, but for teaching purposes, we're making it out of 4140 so that we could show you guys the processes that we use to make this part. So the drill performed really well. It gave us a good, clean, flat bottom hole for us to start our end mill in. Having those extra two flutes allowed us to have an even higher material removal rate than we would have with a two flute drill. So now that we have our counter bore roughed out, we can get ready to pre-drill the rest of our holes and then get into some real five axis milling. If you guys like this video, please stay tuned. We're going to put all of this on our Aerospace Academy. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon.